with Strive here and I am outdoors today. I had a request for an outdoor routine and it is gorgeous. There's lots of blue sky with a few clouds today. So yes, excited to be bringing you a routine outside. It's much prettier than inside. Um, so yeah, I'm here. It's kind of early in the morning. I'm like in the middle of the sidewalk, which I've done one video here before, but it was pretty short so I wasn't worried about being in anyone's way. But um, yeah, so we'll see if we have any walkers come by. I might have to like stop and dodge so they can they can get through on the sidewalk. Cause it's been raining a lot, so the grass is still really wet. So anyhow, today's routine is a relax and unwind yoga routine. I don't know how you guys have been feeling lately or if you ever feel like you need such a routine. But I, my husband and I ran on Sunday and just have been doing some stuff other than yoga lately and my body hurts and so I feel like I really need a routine like this just to kind of like decompress, stretch out, and unwind. So let's go ahead and get started. Just sit on your mat, cross your legs, sit up nice and tall, tuck your tailbone under, and really root your tailbone down towards the ground. Try to lift the crown of your head up towards the sky and breathe here. You can close your eyes or you can leave them open with just a soft gaze down in front of you. And take a moment to breathe here. Focus on your breath. Really set up for a relaxing and unwinding practice. your ujjayi breath. So breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Slightly closing off the back of your throat. You may sound like Darth Vader or the ocean. So I'm not sure if you can hear me, but it's going to sound something like this. You really fill all the way up and then let all that air out. Let the tension go as well as you exhale. So just get excited about this routine in a calm way. Look forward to just getting the kinks out and letting go of any mental busyness. Try to let that go. Leave it off of your mat and try to be present in this moment. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go from here into child's pose. So, big feet between your knees, big toes together here, and try to sink down towards your heels. And guys, like I said, I am tight, so this is definitely, definitely stretching me out here. And then relax your forehead down on the mat. Continue to breathe deeply, ujjayi here. Spread your fingers out wide on the mat, pressing each knuckle down into the ground. Full breath. 
Brazil out here. Start to slowly make your way onto your hands and your knees. For some reason, I feel like I want to be turned this way. Not sure why, so I'm going to turn around here. Again, spread your fingers wide and inhale. Drop your belly down, head up. Start with cow. Exhale, round your back, head down. Hook your belly in here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again, inhale up. Drop your belly down. Exhale down. One more of each. Inhale, bring your head up. And exhale down. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to do an ankle stretch. So you are going to kind of sit on your legs here. And I'm turning around. I think the sun's in my face that way. All right. So from here, you can place your hands down on the mat and walk them behind you. And then lean back as much as is comfortable until you feel a stretch in the front of your ankle. So, and if you'd like, you can bring your hands to heart center here. Um, yeah, and then just hold here. We use, I mean, we use our legs, our feet, our ankles all the time and don't really think about them. So let's give them some love, stretch them out, work the tension out there. So continue to breathe. Let's take four deep breaths here. towards the mat and we are going to get into a knee plank, a modified plank. So you can come onto your hands and then your knees but more in like plank position. And again make sure your fingertips are spread nice and wide here. <laughs> and then you can relax your feet down, just staying up on your knees so you're not stressing your body too much here because the goal of this routine is to relax and decompress. And then from here, I'd like you to lower all the way down onto your belly. Bring your hands by your lower ribs and come up, leaving your hips down on the ground, elbows close to your side. And then you're just going to push back into extended puppy. So reach your arms forwards, leave your butt up in the air, and then drive your chest down towards the mat. You go ahead and come forward again into your modified plank. Go through that short sun salutation again. Come all the way down onto your belly. Bring your hands back. Cobra. Push back, extended puppy, butt up in the air, chest down. Come forward, modified plank. We're gonna stay in each one of these a little bit longer now. So hold for three breaths.
Come all the way down into your belly. Bring your hands back a little bit by your lower ribs. Come up into cobra. So leave your hips down on the mat. And see, I have a hard time doing that. And it's like almost easier for me to do this because my spine is so tight. So if you need to, walk your hands forward a bit. Make it a bit easier. You can leave your forearms down on the mat if you want to do this here. I'm going to try this for a while. Okay, go ahead and come back. Extended puppy pose. Great, and from here, push up into a downward facing dog. So come up onto your hands, come up onto your feet, and pedal it out here. Okay. Go ahead and extend your right leg up. This should feel good to you. If this is hard, feel free to leave your leg down and just step through without lifting the leg up. Okay, so step it through, and we're gonna get into a low lunge. Okay, this should be easy. So your back knee is down on the mat. You can place your hands on either side or both sides of your front foot. And then just relax down towards the mat. Let your hips melt down. So I'm feeling tension, tightness in my hamstring of my front leg and then my hip flexors. So as I inhale, I'm gonna send my breath to those tight spots. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna do my best to let it go. Okay, from here we're going to get into lounging lizard. So you are going to take your left hip and kind of turn your body to the side, dropping it down toward the mat. And then take your right hand, press it onto the middle of your inner thigh and hold here. So you should feel a nice stretch in the side of your, your right hip, your right glute. back to center here and we're going to switch to the other side so first come back into your modified plank lower your belly all the way down to the mat low cobra so I'm going to continue to keep my forearms down it just feels right for my body right now back to extended puppy Get your butt high in the air. Downward facing dog. And then lift your leg if that's what you choose to do on the other side. And step it through. Low lunge. So relax your back leg down. Hands are framing your foot. And send your inhale to your tight spot. Exhale, let it go. Okay, we're gonna make our way into lounging lizard. So start twisting so that your right hip is angled down. Open up your left leg. 
take your left hand, press it onto the inside of your inner thigh, because your inner thigh is inside, <laughs> into the middle of your inner thigh, and hold here. And you may have noticed that one side is more tight, tighter than the other. This is definitely my tighter side. This left glute really doesn't feel like it wants to open up. So I'm not gonna push it. Just gonna take it nice and gentle, nice and slow. Sending my breath there, trying to let go of the tension. Come back to center and back into your modified plane. Lower all the way down to the mat. Low cobra. Extended puppy pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up or not, depending on what works for you right now. Step the foot through. Walk your foot over towards your left hand and relax down, setting up for pigeon. We want to get all the tightness out of our hips. Well, as much as you can anyways. Okay. So, your goal is to have the shin parallel to the front of your mat. I am generally, even when I'm not like super tight from running, um, that is uncomfortable for me. So I pull my foot, my leg in closer to my body to make it more comfortable and just better, better for my body where it is in this moment. So. Adjust your leg to fit your level of flexibility, comfort. Okay, and I'm gonna pull in even closer because like I said, I'm super tight right now. And then I'm gonna try to keep my hips facing forward rather than having them open. So nice square hip. And then you may stay here if this is giving you um, a good enough stretch or if it's uncomfortable, feel free to stay here. And then as you open up, let go of some of the tension, feel free to walk your hands forward and get into a deeper pigeon, deeper stretch here. So enjoy. I'm going to scoot back on my mat. There we go. Three more deep breaths.
Go ahead and extend your left leg up. Step it through. And slide your foot over towards your right hand this time. You know what to do in setting up for pigeon. So pay attention to the angle of your leg. Also, the direction of your hips. And I can tell, again, this left side is tighter. Yikes. It's really hard for me to square my hips right here. If you're not able to do that, that is more than okay. More than okay, wherever you are is right for you. Okay, so again, stay upright until you feel comfortable, slowly folding forward if you feel comfortable, and then breathe deep, nice full inhales. Again, full exhales as well. Sink into the pose, try to surrender, let it all go. Slowly start to sit up, come out of the pose. And make your way into a seated position with your legs out in front of you. Okay, so you can shake your legs out a little bit here if you need to. I don't know about you guys, but as painful as Pigeon was, once I was able to relax and let go, like, my legs, my hips, they feel a lot better. So I hope that yours do too. So inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, reach for your feet. And just hold here. Again, sending your breath to your tight spots. I'm gonna send my inhales to my hamstrings because that's definitely where I'm feeling it right now. double pigeon and we've got to do both sides so I'm going to start with my left leg on the bottom I'm gonna flex my foot and try to bring my shin parallel to the side edge of my mat this time and then I'm going to bring my right leg on top my right foot is also flexed and I'm trying to align my heels with my knees so my right knee is aligned directly on top of my left heel and then my left heel is aligned directly on top of my 
my right heel is aligned directly on top of my left knee. Okay, and you may have a huge space, like you may be here because of tightness in your hips. If that's uncomfortable, feel free to put a yoga block or a pillow, a book, anything that's going to help take some of the pressure off of your hips. Okay, and you may leave your hands here if that puts too much pressure on your hip, your leg, or you may use that pressure to your advantage. Okay, so hold here. Let's hold for five breaths on this side. Go ahead and switch to the other side. So right leg is now on the bottom, left leg on top. Get situated here and again hold for five full breaths. All right, go ahead and come out of the pose and simply just cross your legs again like we did at the beginning of this routine. And we're gonna stretch out our neck a little bit. So take your neck and we'll take your head and dip it down towards the right shoulder. You can reach with your left hand away from the body and hold here three breaths. off after 30 minutes of filming. I didn't realize it had been so long already. So that felt pretty good in my neck. I hope it felt good to you as well. And now we are going to lie down on our backs for a spinal twist. So lie down, left leg is extended out. Make cactus arms or a T with your arms. Bring your right leg up and across to the left side of your body, gazing back towards your right hand and hold here. You can play with the placement of your leg, bringing it up higher or down lower. I feel like when I bring my leg down lower, I feel a bigger stretch in the lower spine, which feels pretty darn good. So do what feels good to you and hold for three full breaths. Take 
go ahead and come back to center, extending your right leg out. Bring your left leg up and across to the right side of your body. Gaze back towards your left hand this time. Fill up, expanding your rib cage. And then exhale, let it decompress. Sending tension, anything that doesn't serve you out of your body on your exhales. You might feel some like pinching in here if that's the case. Feel free to put yoga blocks, a towel, pillow, blanket, whatever you have underneath your knees and that'll help alleviate that, that uncomfortable feeling. Okay, so we're gonna hold here for five breaths. Palms are open. So slowly bring your legs back together and then stretch them out for Shavasana. So nice wide space between your legs, palms are up, arms are nice and open. Close your eyes, do your best to relax and sink down into the mat. Hey guys, I wasn't able to finish the routine because of sprinkler testing. So I'm just going to finish Shavasana right here on the balcony without my mat because I'm in a hurry guys. <laughs> so go ahead and, well you should be lying down. So continue to relax, breathing deeply, letting your feet slay open, palms up. Scan your body for any tight spots. I'm gonna like, I'll start at the top and I feel like I'm holding tension in my neck so I'm gonna try to let it go. I'm also holding tension in my triceps. I'm gonna try to let that go as well. Melting deeper down into the ground, down into your mat. to one side, continuing to relax. Push up to a seated position, cross your legs, set up nice and tall.
Open your eyes when you're ready. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, relax them down. Again, inhale, arms up. And relax them down. All right, guys, thanks so much for practicing with me today. I'm sorry that it was kind of all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your body feels relaxed, de-stressed, and either ready for your day or ready for bed, whatever that may be. Hope you feel good. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.